What's going on folks? It's your man Overtime out here coming to you with another product review. Today's product review, the Rad Power Rad Rover e-bike. Alright, this thing I love to say. Especially nowadays in the hunting world, everybody talking about getting in the woods quiet, getting out quiet without leaving the scent, without leaving the trail. And um, what better way to do in that than with e-bike? You know, everybody want to get out there with a UTV, an ATV. Some people go out there pedaling with a mountain bike. Um, some people just try to walk quietly, but that takes a lot longer. Sit, stay. So, I reached out to Rad Power Bike, and they sent me one of these last year. I used it for about the half the season, and I've been using it now for scouting and everything. And not only with the outdoors, but this thing is great for everything. You know, along with my dog, so I got my dog here. She's always with me. I want to shoot out to the woods and get a quick track laid out for her. No time to jump on the bike, run out there and be back within 10, 15 minutes. I want to go out there and get her a quick run. She's been in the house all day. Nothing. Go outside, jump on the bike and just let her ride with me and follow. Uh, this thing is great. Got seven gears, but it's also, you can just go all throttle. You don't even need to pedal. Um, unlike a lot of bikes that say they go about 20 miles an hour and I've actually ridden a few, I won't say any names, but I've seen they got like limiters on them. They only get to about 14 to 15. This thing I've had this up to 19.9 miles per hour. So I'm pretty sure it can get to 20. If not, that's fast enough. Um, it's got the lithium battery here. You can charge, easy charge with a little plug hole. You've got the key you can put in here to activate it. You can turn it off and also you can turn it to a certain setting and take it off. So if you want, you're in the woods somewhere, you're on public land, you're not sure if you trust your bike being out there. I mean, they can still take it this way, but I will take the key, take it all the way and take this, the battery pack with me. You know, if I got a big enough pack, put it in there. If not, I hide it in the bush somewhere. They also suggest you can lock the tires up with like a U-brake or something or a U-lock. They have an easy one button light here hit the button hold the button headlight come on come with tail light as well i have mine actually unhooked because i'm going into the woods and i don't usually use my light i use my headlamp on low but when i'm coming out at night i definitely use that and use my tail light sometimes if i'm on public land so people know i'm out there if I'm on private land or not public land but land i don't want people knowing i'm there i kind of sneak in and out with the lights off uh Again, with the gears, if you're going uphill and you feel the bike is starting to struggle, there's nothing to just kick it when these gears and start pedaling. You can put it all the way down to one where it's super easy, or put it all the way up to seven where you get a little extra force, but you pull more ground and cover more ground. Also, with the company, they said they don't send the racks with, but they got a bunch of different racks you can get for accessories. I got the front rack and I got the front carrier basket. It also comes with the rear rack. And I have a longer rack that I use during season to put my stand on and I hook some bars there. I'll make sure to put pictures on here so you guys can see if I put some uh, rails over here where I can put my bow in. It locks just like a regular mountain bike or now mountain bikes. To, you got the little suspension lock here. I can have where the suspension is suspension where it bounces when I'm going through the woods. Or if I'm on the road, put it on lock and there's nothing there. And I keep it stiff. Depends on your future ride and what you plan on doing. Like I said, right now, I'm scouting, so I got it with the spring suspension unlocked. I'm on the back roads in the woods all the time, a lot of dirt roads and bumps and divots, so I want to be able to bounce and get over those without taking the brace of the, the impact. And also, it's pretty easy to start. You just hold this mode button here. The screen fires up. Hold the arrow down. That turns it on. That makes a walk right there. Turn it up. Hold it up. That turn the lights on. Hold the button again. Turn it off. Hold it, turn it on, touch it, set the, just reset the miles there, hop on, kick the kickstand up, and we off. All right now I'm pedaling with, oh, I cannot pedal. And it goes. Move. Got, got front and back rear disc or disc brakes. Good kickstand. Kickstand down. Pop off. Again, you want to turn it off? Hold the mode button. Boom. Pop. And unlike the rest of the bikes out there, with this bike here, you got the quiet cat, 
the Rambo. They run about 5,000, 6,000, some of them 7,500. This bike here is only $1,500. That's 1,500 bucks. That's like four to 5,000 cheaper than the rest of them. Can't beat that. And like I said, this one actually gives you the full 20 miles per hour. This one gives you a long battery life. You can go out scouting and hunting all day. You won't have to charge and just charge up when you get back at night. And also with the company, they send you racks that you can put on the back of your truck or the back of your car, whatever it is, to carry and transport this e-bike. But I'm telling you right now, if you want an e-bike, this is the way to go. Save your money, save you the time. Go ahead and get your Rad Power bike and it'll be worth your while. All right, guys. Make sure you go there and check out the site. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. See you guys on the next one. As always, we sign out. Love. Peace. Afro Grease. Peace.